Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. Resident Evil. I haven't shown the menu in a while. So why am I doing that now? Well, one of the things I'm kind of fixated on during this game is, uh... The connections between this game and Revelations 1. And, uh... Well, to be honest, I'd... Kind of been neglecting one of them this entire time. And I thought I would share it with you. Hey, this seems familiar. Resident Evil Revelations. It's not just the eyeball theme, I mean. It is, uh... You know, an homage, I mean. Oh, shit! It's the menu music, isn't it? Oh, don't mind those guys back there. I took care of them years ago. I believe they were called oozes, despite the fact that they are humanoid. And, you know, not slimes. I just find that interesting that I somehow... I hadn't thought about this music in years, and then as soon as I started Revelations 2, it's... Oh, it's the same menu music. I just thought I would, uh, include it for a change. So that's neat, that they, uh, wanted the presentation of the game to be, uh, reminiscent of the original. Anyway, last time, Claire and Moira managed to defeat Neil after he turned into a great big monster after being injected with the Ouroboros virus created by Albert Wesker. I only bring up that part because Ouroboros is an uncommonly fun-to-say word. Ouroboros. <laughs> Let's see, I believe I was going to look at the skills, yes, because I... Oh my goodness, I have a lot of them. Sure, more firepower while crouching, I guess. Uh... Yeah, more power to the crowbar. Uh, more power to the incapacitation of the light. I'll have to choose. Um... All right. Uh, crowbar finisher, since it earns BP, I guess. Gain bonus points when delivering a follow-up with a crowbar once per enemy. Oh, actually, that does sound good. Eva increasing the distance covered when evading. Yeah, sure. Let's go for that next time. If there is a next time. Previously on Revelations 2. Mother of balls! My life is awesome! That bitch stuck a needle in me? Huh. Look, this is the one from last time. See? We're like sisters. Hmm. I guess it doesn't change until I've also done the Barry scenario. With the strongest of lights, one is able to dispel the world.
Jesus Christ, Wesker. Alex Wesker. <laughs> you can't be the same woman. Where's Moira? What have you done with her? As Alex Wesker. She's responsible for the experiment six months ago. They called her the Overseer. She took Moira away from me. And now I'll never get... And all for fucking what? I'm sorry. It's okay. She said she was going to be reborn. Reborn how? With a virus? Why did she need my little girl? Doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry, I can't remember anything else. <sighs> oh, sweetie, I'm sorry. It's my problem, not yours. Just take it easy. Oh, this is so messed up. This is so much more messed up than I was expecting it. Are you okay? Yeah. I was just thinking about how I used to go for walks like this with Moira and Polly. Were you a good family? <laughs> we tried to be. Moira and I fought a lot. Even after she grew up. Was it because she used bad words? <laughs> no. She just did that to take me off. I'm the one that drove us apart. I messed up real bad as a father. She and Polly were playing in the house. I forgot to lock up my guns, and Moira, she... Polly had an accident. Was it Moira's fault? No. It was mine. But I raised my voice at her, and I guess I never really got around to taking the blame. Polly survived, thank God. But not me and Moira. We started drifting apart. I think she still loved you. I appreciate you saying that. I'll tell you this much. I couldn't save her, but I'm gonna save you. I promise I'll get you off this island. I know. Thanks, Barry. Last time we discovered that about... It's okay. I can walk now. About All right, partner. More Down you Polly. go. Yes. 
that uh, Moira shot Polly, and that's why she uh, despises guns. She hates them. They terrify her. And I think I might have made a mistake in that cutscene. Because going over the footage, I realized that when the Switch character's prompt came, came up, the... Hang on, these are these same sewers. They're just not flooded anymore. Huh. Yeah, the X prompt, you know, mash X to struggle for the gun, that didn't go away. I think if I had just kept doing that without switching to Moira, I might have been able to have Claire grab the gun and do it herself. Which meant that I exposed Moira to her greatest trauma for no real reason, and I feel kind of bad about that. I still refuse to accept that she's dead. You can't get a happy ending if you don't believe in a happy ending. Oh yeah, I should be checking for uh, things now that I can meet Natalia again. Uh, quick look around. Could she sprint? Yes. That's a thing. Uh... I'm thinking if there really are multiple endings, that scene where, you know, the, the thing where I had Moira do the thing instead of Claire, I feel like that's one of the things that affects it. Or maybe I'm just out to lunch, and if I tried doing it as Claire, I would have been lost. Well, I got one. Okay. Now where the hell are we? This is a room we've been in before. I sure don't recognize it. Oh, I'm full of things. Oh, I have spares! Lottie da Aren't da- hmm? Oh, yes, right. Of course, that makes sense. Um... Yeah, actually, let's do some of that. Yeah, okay. Good. Good! Other one... Well, I guess you can hold on to those then, but yeah, you should keep those so that, uh, you can apply them to Barry. Since you're probably way faster at doing it than I am. That's how it worked with Moira, anyway. I knew... I knew this Wesker was a monster. But what we saw in there, I don't think that was even Alex Wesker anymore. That was like a literal monster, not just a figurative one. Like, she's so far off the rails that she can't even see the tracks anymore. She is just beyond insane. Oh, and she wants to steal Natalia's body. So that's great. Okay! Tag out. It's berry time. I see. Someone has stolen the switch. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely the same one. I wasn't sure earlier. I thought that might just be a similar looking area, but no, this is definitely a place I've been. How are we going to get back to the surface? I noted there was a, a bit where Moira referred to Barry as, like, granny swearing, like he just doesn't swear most of the time, and even, you know, early, just earlier he said that uh, the reason Moira swears so much is just to piss him off. And he dropped the F-word when uh, he thought that she was dead. 
I feel like that says a lot about how, uh... You're not an item at all. Oh, you're her item. Okay, yeah, Barry can't take those. But yeah, I feel like that says a lot about his mental state at the moment. I bet he is really feeling those years. Ah, the rotten! It's been a while. Boy, that was satisfying. Why can't they all be that easy? How about that one? Yeah, that one's alive. There's something ahead. Be careful. Be sure to flip your rotten every five minutes or they will burn. Y you see, because he was face down before. All oh, right. Shit, I forgot about that. Uh, when you're... Moira, when you're, you know, Claire and Moira, you can see the sparkles when you're, uh, playing as Claire if the flashlight touches them. I don't think that's the case when you're playing as Barry and Natalia if you're playing as Barry, because she's not using the flashlight to see them, she's using her powers. That's why I've been running around. It's, what am I doing? There's gonna be a jump scare or something up here. Look at this corner. It just screams. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, that wasn't very jump-scary, but... Are you, uh... Damn it, one more, one more. There you go. That's much better. Oopsie! And at last, they are at rest. safer down here. You okay? Yeah, are you? Just checking. I guess I have to hit the next uh, trigger for him to say something about that. Oh, I can't jump over there anymore. No. Oh, no, wait, that's right, you can just stab these, because they only have one hit. Excuse me, do you mind here? I'm trying to take care of these bugs. It's really... Right in the brain. Okay, both of those guys are real. I'm just making sure. No, you don't. Don't you, like, stop and do your leap attack. Yeah, those things are pr big enough that I'm pretty sure you could roast them. I mean, bugs don't have any bones. I don't think it would taste very good, don't get me wrong, but, you know, they say it's really, really high and... Jesus Christ, they're just not... Are they, just, are they literally not stopping? On a side note, why are all of the zombies wearing utility belts? Like, Barry came armed for, you know, the apocalypse over here, but, uh... And Claire, uh... Well, you know, he can defend himself now. Oh, no, 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 get your gun out. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, I guess you can... Yeah, okay, fine. Neil thought he was being a fucking hero by sacrificing a bunch of innocent people to a psychopath. Like, collaborating with a monster for the greater good makes him the good guy. Assault rifle ammo case, that would be for you. Pretty. Nice job, kid. Oh, I hate that. Uh, hey, wait, that was... Oh, no, I guess that is true. We did just drop down, didn't we? What was that? No, this was a dead end. Shit. 
Yeah, and I took the things that are up there. Was that you? You're heavier than you look, kid. Now here's the real question. If I hadn't taken the red herb and I don't remember what the other thing was that were out here, as clear, would they still be there for Barry to take? What if I'd only taken one of the two things that was out there? It's close, but it hasn't seen us. I do like watching the range extend out to reach those guys in the back. There's something ahead. Be careful. Okay, here we go. Guess these guys... I wonder if these are the... No, 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 they wouldn't look like that. They'd just be bones by now. Eh. Eh. I feel genuinely bad for these guys, not gonna lie. I mean, I always feel like... You know, conceptually bad for zombies. Because they're just the victims of other zombies. <laughs> ah, there we go. These guys in particular, they're just... pathetic. I feel really bad for them. They're not even intimidating monsters. So we can finally take this thing over here, huh? Then that's how I will finish this video. Scratching an itch. Several videos overdue. <laughs> Oh, okay, those do stack that way. Yes, good. You hold that, and I'll get this and make use of it immediately. Uh, combine with this. Nice! Although that does actually fill me up, embarrassingly. Uh, now we are both filled with items, and that is not what I would refer to as an ideal scenario. So I will do this and free up one space. Great! Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Since the timer did go. All these thoughts in my mind. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. When we, uh... I didn't know you could get up that high. Hmm. When we, uh, continue through these sewers. And, uh... Try and find a way off this damned island. Later.